everyone and welcome back to another video and today's video comes again out of Texas a sad story about a teen mother 18 years old who had a baby evidently was hiding the fact that she was pregnant and she murdered the baby and buried the baby in a flower pot but before we get started with the video, if you enjoy the videos of this on this channel, if you enjoy the commentary on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. So let's get into the article. Texas teen smothered her baby and later buried child in flower pot, police say. A teen smothered her newborn baby in February with a shirt as the infant was about to cry for the first time and later buried the child in a flower pot according to police and court documents wow so this is clearly a case of um, a, a teenager being pregnant and the family not knowing about it and she was probably hiding it you know coming up we had people that did that all the time. They would wear shirts, big shirts, or, you know, baggy clothes. And I don't know if the parents, they were just in denial. They didn't want to deal with it. But it happened. I even know someone that I grew up with, she actually had the baby. She hid the pregnancy the whole time. Um, she complained of stomach problems and stomach aches they rushed her to the hospital and it was like congratulations your grandparents it was so devastating to them but young women you know they are scared to tell their families a lot of times that they're they're pregnant and a few of them go to the extreme of actually murdering the baby to keep the secret at first the flower pot was left in a car overnight before the 18 year old from Dallas and a friend took the flower pot to a Carrollton cemetery and left it there according to a arrest warrant obtained by the Fort Worth Star Telegram on Wednesday okay so they put the baby in a flower pot I guess they put dirt over the baby I don't know who knows what goes on in the teenage brain? What were they thinking by taking this pot, this flower pot, burying the babies in the flower pot, taking it to the cemetery? Was it their way of giving the baby a proper, proper burial? I don't know, but this is so sad. Last month, an employee at the cemetery found the baby buried in the flower pot. I can't even imagine. Authorities arrested Jasmine Lopez of Dallas on Tuesday without incident. Lopez was in the Detention County Jail on Wednesday in lieu of $500,000 bail. The teen is expected to be charged with capital murder, Carrollton police said. And I believe once you're charged with capital murder, you actually qualify for the death penalty. I believe that's how that works. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. And we all know Texas, you know, they're real big on capital punishment. They'll sentence you to die in, in a minute. And, you know, I'm not saying what this young girl did was right by killing her baby. But are they trying to figure out why she did it? Or are they just going to, you know, try to charge her with this capital murder? It's just sad. And I feel bad for her parents. Um, looks like they're going to lose a child they lost a grandchild all because she was trying to keep the secret her juvenile friend had not been arrested as of wednesday but the investigation continued said carlton police spokesman uh, jolene devito in a wednesday telephone interview the warrant gave this account of the incident okay so now they're going to tell us what happened Lopez stated nobody in her family knew she was pregnant, which I figured, and she had not received or sought medical prenatal care. She gave, um, she gave her baby the name Kaylin Lopez. So she knew she was pregnant. She was scared. She was scared of her family's reaction, and she hid her pregnancy. But she named the baby. You know, it's just so, so, so unfortunate. 
Initially, initially, uh, Lopez told police she gave birth at her family's Dallas apartment on February the 4th, but the baby did not move. The teen says she passed out, and when she came to, she was holding the infant, but the baby was not breathing. So this child was going through labor. Water had to break. I guess I'm assuming she must have been the only one home. I mean, I've given birth, okay? And how did she go through that by herself? I don't know, because I would have been on somebody's phone calling 911. I would have worried about the consequences later. But she knew she was having a baby, and she wanted to hold on to that secret so bad that she endured all of that and had this baby in the apartment by herself. Lopez took photographs of her baby, and detectives later found messages on her cell phone in which she and a friend talked about seeking information on a pill to abort the pregnancy and abort it and abortion clinics. She sought the information on the clinics when she was four to five months pregnant. Okay, why did she take pictures of the baby? I guess she wanted to remember her child. I don't know, but then she killed the baby. You know, it seems like she loved her baby, but she felt like she had to kill the baby. I, I don't know. It's just so confusing to me. Um, you know, teenagers, they oftentimes, they think they just so grown. They know everything. They have everything figured out. And then they find themselves in situations like this, and they just do things that make absolutely no sense. And her actions, you know, not only hurt her, but I'm quite sure hurt her family also. So anyway, it looks like, you know, when she was, when she probably realized she was pregnant, when she was about four to four or five months pregnant, then she wanted to seek abortions. And, you know, some states don't allow um, second trimester abortions. You know, some states only allow first trimester. But the fact that she thought abortion was her only way out, you know, clearly shows that she wanted to hide this from her family. She did not want them to know that she was pregnant. And she was 18. I don't know. Maybe she was 17 at the time. I don't know. But I know now she's 18. But in a follow-up interview with the Carlton uh, detective, Lopez changed her stories, okay, saying she, she started to give birth in a closet on the morning of February 4th at her grand, as her grandmother made breakfast in the kitchen. When her uncle left a restroom, Lopez walked out of the closet to the restroom and delivered her baby as she stood. Yeah, I, I don't understand. This girl had to be in excruciating pain. She wasn't screaming. She wasn't, she hid in a closet and held that pain in. I don't know how she did it, okay? I don't know how she did it. She had a whole baby while people were home. And that's even if she's telling the truth, because at one point she said she was in an apartment by herself. Now, all of a sudden, she's in with her relatives, and she had the baby, uh, the grandmother downstairs making breakfast. Nobody notices nothing weird going on. This girl's water done broke. She's had, she had to be in labor. I mean, some pe some women are fortunate that everything happens all at one time, but, you know, most women, they have labor pains, and this was her... I guess must be her first child, I'm assuming. You know, I, I don't know. Her infant was moving and gasping for air when she realized the baby was about to cry. Mm. So this baby was born alive, alive, and she, she murdered the baby. Oh, my goodness. Lopez took her shirt off and covered her, the, her infant's mouth, according to the warrant, holding the baby against her body for one to two minutes. So basically, she smothered the baby. You know, here she is. And at 18, 17, 18, I just don't see an excuse for this to kill your child. I, I don't see the, the excuse. You know, not saying any age would be... Uh, there would be an excuse, but at 17 or 18, I don't see you um, wanting to kill your child because you're trying to keep a secret at this point. I mean, you're practically grown, you know, I don't know. 
Lopez told the detective she was just trying to keep the baby quiet until she could get her out of the apartment, according to the warrant. Get her out of the apartment and do what? Kill her outside? Kill the baby outside the apartment? <sighs> mm, this is just so sickening. She held the baby against her body as she cleaned blood from the floor and the bathtub. Now, she's doing all this while there's a house full of people. She got all this energy. She just gave birth. She got energy to clean up and move around. I, I, I'm just not understanding. At some point, Lopez grabbed a trash bag and placed the placenta and soiled items in it. Lopez took the baby to her bedroom and placed her in a basket. Her grandmother walked into her bedroom and asked her why she looked pale, but Lopez did not tell her anything. Man, I would have been singing, like, <laughs> I would have told everything. I would have just had to tell because she has to, medically, she couldn't have, it had to be something going on with her body. You know, this, this, this young girl just gave birth, and she's looking pale. She had to go through labor. Her water broke. She's doing all this activity, cleaning up stuff, throwing things in trash bags, I just don't know. Lopez called a friend to pick her up so she could get the baby out of the apartment. Before she left, she cleaned the blood on the floor in the closet. Lopez told detectives she knew her baby was dead as she stepped into her friend's vehicle. The friend drove Lopez to a park where they talked about what to do with her baby. I can't even imagine that conversation. They agreed to go to a local Home Depot buy a flower pot, pot and natural flowers. And I wonder why did they decide that? The article doesn't say. Why did they decide to put the baby in a flower pot? I, ugh, mm. Her child was placed in the flower pot and buried. The friend took the flower pot and left it in the car. On the morning of February 5th, so they left the baby in the car overnight. Wow. Lopez and the friend agreed to meet at Perry Cemetery in Car Carrollton and leave the flower pot there. I can only think, maybe they were thinking that was a way of burying the baby. Ugh. An employee at Perry Cemetery, 1805 North Perry Road in Carrollton, found the baby girl on March 11th after emptying a flower pot that was out of place. I can't even imagine being an employee <laughs> finding that. The employee told the detectives he had seen the a pot full of dirt between two headstones, but he did not know who had left the pot. The pot was surrounded by white stones taken from a nearby driveway. There was a cross made out of the same stones near the pot. See, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... You know, she knew she killed the baby, and this was their way of burying the baby. Because why would you put the baby in a flower pot, cover it, bury it in the dirt, and then take it to a cemetery? Mm. On the morning of March 11th, the employee decided to clean up the pot, attempting to dump out wet dirt. But the body of a small child fell out. Oh, my gosh. Officials at the medical examiner's office determined the infant weighed six pounds with the umbilical cord still attached. So she did all of this in her, in, in her, in, in, in the house. And you know, an, an umbilical cord is not a short cord. That is a, that's, that's a long cord. So she just had the baby, went through the labor, killed the baby left all the, didn't cut the umbilical cord and the baby was six pounds so she was a normal weight oh I mean how did you uh, I don't even know how you can even make yourself how you can allow yourself to kill the baby but she didn't want her family to know that bad that she decided that it was best to take this poor innocent child's life mm. Later in March, Lu Lopez came forward and identified herself as the mother of the baby, Carrollton police said. The teen was not arrested at that time. She contacted 
uh, Carrollton police after seeing news coverage of the incident. Carrollton is about 35 miles northwest, northeast of Fort Worth. So I guess she saw the news. Um, uh, she saw the news story, and you know it got to her. So I'm going to be honest here. I don't know if she should get the death penalty. I'm kind of on the fence about that. I do believe she needs to be punished and she needs to serve some time. But this almost sounds like her actions were out of fear, um, out of panic, and wanting to keep a secret. Like, it, it, it was malicious, but it, it just doesn't seem like... Um, it seemed like she did it more because she didn't want her family to find out. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think she deserves the death penalty? I do deserve, think she deserves to serve time in jail for killing her child. But I don't think I, I would agree with the death penalty. She's very young. She's only, what, 18 years old. And she's got to live with what she's done for the rest of her life, knowing that she killed her child and disposed of the body the way that she did. Um, push come to shove, why couldn't she just had the baby and just dropped it off at a hospital, you know, and left, you know, or just put the baby on somebody's doorstep and left? I mean, she still would have been arrested, but at least the baby wouldn't be dead. But I'm not so sure how I feel about the death penalty. Um, I don't think that I would want her to get the death penalty if that's what capital murder means. But... Um, it's just a sad story, and this poor baby was born to a mother who killed her or him and didn't have a chance. I just wish, you know, she could have thought of a better way to give turn that baby over anonymously, you know, hand it to a stranger, go, go to a hospital, you know. I don't know, but she decided that to kill the baby was the only thing. And now she may lose her life over it. So we'll see what happens with this case. Uh, this is one I will definitely be following up on. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.